I was on the moon. Baby, I was on the moon. Call me Neil Armstrong. Last past week, it was Thanksgiving, and I'm not gonna lie, these last couple days, I've been sick with food poisoning, like, sick, girl. Like, sick with food poisoning. This is the first time I'm, like, having the strength to even get myself together, put do my skincare, like, really anything, girl. I've been wearing a bonnet for, like, days, right? But that's literally only the last week. Honestly, I'm not, I can't even lie to y'all. I'm so sorry. I have just, I've been booed up. I've been booed up hard, right? And I've just been neglecting my responsibilities and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, y'all. But I said, you know what, no more. Like, I gotta get back, I gotta get back to it. I'm back, you know? And, I, and I'm not gonna let him get in between you and I anymore. But yeah, like, I'm honestly recovering from food poisoning. It really hit hard on Monday, like, and it, what it is, it wasn't anything from Thanksgiving because I know y'all probably like, oh girl, you probably got something from Thanksgiving. No girl, I was in a bind on, anyway, I had, I had long story short, I had McDonald's, McDog food, McDeath. Y'all, the pain that I was in was so excruciating. So Monday, I woke up, I was feeling just fine. And then I started to have like, you know, some light abdominal pain, right? Like in my stomach. I said, okay, let me, because I was about to go work out. Um, and then the pain started to increase and I'm like, man, this is getting kind of bad So I went to go like lay back down and it just started to get worse and worse and worse to the point to where I, w I couldn't walk I could barely move. I did what any grown woman would do girl. I called my mama I said mama What's going on girl? Like I'm not feeling good. I told her I, I ate some McDonald's and she was like girl We've been through this before. You know, you can't eat McDonald's. She's like go downstairs get you some Tums and or get you some pepto bismol so i went downstairs because we have like a kind of like a bodega in uh, in my apartment complex so i went downstairs to get some pepto bismol they didn't have that all they had was tums girl i literally fought my way back up here girl got the tums ate the tums so it wasn't working quick enough so i was trying to figure out what can i do like who can i call i was like trying to like i have a couple people that i know in my apartment complex let me call them so I was like, yeah. and I didn't want to call my guy because I was like, I can't have him see me. I can't have him see me this down bad. He cannot see me this down bad. But y'all, I was in pain. I said, it, it is what it is at this point. It is what it is. So I called, I texted him. I didn't, I didn't want to call him because I didn't want him to hear like how I was sounding. Like I was sounding really bad. I texted him. I said, I need you to bring me something right now. Otherwise I'm going to have to go to the ER. Y'all, it was so serious because I was like, I don't want him to, because he already thinks I'm dramatic. He already thinks I'm dramatic. So I was like, I don't want to sound too dramatic because he's just going to be like, oh, here she go being, being dramatic again. But I'm like, this is serious. Like, if you don't bring this to me, I'm going to have to go to the ER. He tries to FaceTime me. I didn't pick up. I just, I was like, I can't. He calls me. I, I picked up. I was like, hello. I need you to bring this for me. Like I barely, I had, I, I didn't have the strength. I was so weak. That pain was excruciating. So I said, I need you to bring me some Pepto Bismol. I'm having the worst abdominal pain ever. And he goes, he gets quiet. And I'm like, hello? He's like, I'm thinking about the quickest way I can get to you. All right, he's like, all right, here I come. I say, eh, I love a man that's gonna drop what he's doing. He texts me two minutes later, I'm on the way. And then he texts me like five minutes later after that, like stopping at Target to get the Pepto Bismol. And then he called me, he was like, they won't let me up. All the days they want to regulate the rules and stuff like that. I sent him an email, like, yo, let him up. I'm up here dying. He got, he got, he got my medication. So they're like, all right, I, I go over, unlock the door, and I come back to bed. And he walks in, he's just like, hey, 
he low key he told me he thought that I was gonna be dramatic. He thought that you know like he he thought he still thought I was being dramatic, but when he saw me. And then he saw me like throwing up and he saw me like, y'all, I was a mess. I drank some water and I took the Pepto-Bismol. When the Pepto-Bismol was going down, I, I was like, that's kind of thick. I don't know how that's gonna agree with my stomach, but you know what it's gonna have to do because this is gonna help my stomach. Y'all, I threw up the Pepto-Bismol and the water. When I saw that I was throwing up water, I said, oh no, I'm gonna have to go to the ER. I can't hold down water. I'm gonna be dehydrated. So then that's why I was like, I gotta go to the ER, boo boo. Like this is this I can't do this no more. We get to the urgent care. He helps me in there. They're ready for me. Hi. Okay. We spoke. Here's some paperwork. Without the paperwork, y'all, I'm in the chair. Throwing up. <laughs> and in my head, I'm just like, I can't believe this man is seeing me like this. But also, I was just like, bruh, like. I had no choice, I was gonna die. The nurse comes out, the nurse like, we gotta get you in this wheelchair, get you in the back. I was like, give me a second, I'm throwing up. I'm like, eh, trying to throw up. They're like, girl, we gotta get you in the back. I said, give me a second, I'm throwing up. He's just like, we have to get, he's like, we can't help you out here. We gotta get you back there. So I'm like, give me a, y'all, I'm fighting. I'm like, give me a give second, me a I'm second. throwing I'm up. up. And um, he's like, okay. Look, regardless, you're gonna be throwing up, so I'm about to pick you up and put you in the wheelchair so we can get you back there and see what's going on. So I knew he, I could hear in his voice, he was serious. So I was like, okay, okay, let me, let, I, I got her real quick, cause it hurt, it was hurting. I got her real quick, got to the wheelchair. As soon as I get in the wheelchair, I'm throwing up in the wheelchair, <laughs> throwing up in the wheelchair, she's pushing me. Ooh, I was a mess, y'all, I was a mess. We get to the room, they're like, get up on the table. I'm throwing up on the table. I'm, I'm moving it, throwing up, trying to. <laughs> and they're like asking me questions and stuff, but like trying to like figure out what's going on. When I tell you this urgent care, this was an enhanced, like five star urgent care girl. They were not playing with me. They were so attentive. They were so like, girl, they were efficient, moving with efficiency. So they got me in there, boom, let's get some, let's get a urine sample, let's get a blood sample, let's hook up the IV, let's do a cat scan, let's figure out what's going on with you baby girl, let's get you some medication so you're not in pain. After they did all the blood tests, they're like, all right, we're gonna hook up your IV, give you some nausea medicine, and then give you some pain medicine. But the pain didn't go away completely, it went away like, it, it went down to a five. They ran a test, and they told me like, you got food poisoning, like, and like the type of poisoning that you have, like, it's, it's, it's very painful. So we understand, like it's very, very painful, and they kind of walk me through. The girl, we have something now. Starting your day off with a cigar. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we are working with, Miss Girl. They came out so good. This is my second time doing my nails, and I really like them. Like, I don't think the camera is really doing it justice. Like this nail in particular, girl. This one in particular giving it giving it giving it giving it giving it i did opi's um funny bunny so i think they came out really really nice i like it